Hello, my name is Ron Grover. I am a support engineer for Go Engineer. In this video, I'm going to talk about and demonstrate some of the ways that SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM 2014, or EPDM, helps your organization maintain regulatory compliance. Depending on your organization's business, regulatory compliance considerations can play an important role in your business processes and decisions. SOLIDWORKS EPDM has been designed to help comply with ISO 9001, ANSI, ITAR, European Union ROHAS, United States FDA, and other regulations by organizing, tracking, and protecting your files and information. Let's take a look at some of the features and tools that make Enterprise PDM such a powerful tool. Enterprise PDM consists of a server side, which includes an archive and database server, and a client side, which includes an administration tool, a Windows Explorer interface, and add-in tools for SOLIDWORKS and several other programs, including Microsoft Office. The Enterprise PDM Windows Explorer interface contains a powerful search tool, which can allow you to quickly find the files you need. The search tool can help you quickly find standard operating procedures, SOLIDWORKS CAD files, or engineering documentation when you need it. The search tool also includes powerful options that let you build search queries, save searches for quick access to repeated tasks, and the ability to search within file metadata. These tools help you have the right information when and where it is needed. Maintaining regulatory compliance depends on having an accurate and detailed document audit trail. Enterprise PDM maintains a complete file history with complete transparency for all user actions. EPDM tracks and creates a new version of a file each time it is saved, which means that any version of the file can be viewed at any time. Version comments are also available within the file history. The file history can also be exported as a delimited text file that can be used in various reporting tools like Microsoft Excel. Controlling access to files and folders is essential to complying with the regulations mentioned in the beginning of this video. Built into Enterprise PDM is a robust user and group permission system that allows for granular file access. Groups and users can be assigned individual access permission levels. Per folder permissions are also available to control access at the folder level. Enterprise PDM also allows for the setup of workflow-based permissions that restrict file activities based on user and group level permissions. Electronic workflows in Enterprise PDM form the framework for file version and revision control. Files can be checked out by users to eliminate the possibility of simultaneous edits occurring on a single file. Once editing has been concluded on a file, it can be released through a series of approval states, each with their own permission level and user group or group access. This means that only the approved personnel have the ability to release a file, eliminating the possibility that someone in design approves the release of an engineering document. Automatic revision incrementing and workflow processes can also be implemented, saving time and helping to maintain regulatory compliance. Because Enterprise PDM employs electronic workflows and has a robust permission system, electronic signatures are easily tracked and maintained. Files are signed simply by virtue of the workflow and specific permissions enforced by EPDM. A database record is also created for each action that records the user, file, and the specific action taken, thus adding another layer of digital signature to the file as users may only perform actions for which they have permissions. In short, Enterprise PDM is a robust system which makes maintaining regulatory compliance in your organization easier. My name is Ron Grover with Go Engineer, and this has been a quick look at regulatory compliance and Enterprise PDM. Thanks for watching and have a great day.